this video, we will be leveling up our homepage and it will look much better. We'll have navigation, we'll have a way to log in, but not logging in yet. We'll have buttons, we'll have styles, everything will look much better. And this is very important, everything in this video, so make sure you stay until the very end. Hello there. So, in this video, I will be, we will be, adding some styles. It's currently very boring right now. And why is that? Um, because, if we re refresh the page here, yeah, we get yay123, there's nothing going on here, this is default. Okay, so, we'll go on to this in a minute. But, we, we're going to use getbootstrap.com, we're going to use this, I've used it in pretty much all my web projects. What is getbootstrap.com? What is bootstrap? Well, it's mobile first, which means it prioritizes mobile. If you press F12 on Chrome, and you press Control shift m or this, you, you can see that their site is designed for mobile. Well, for mobile, I guess. Uh, but there we go. <laughs> and, yeah, we can see some examples here of what they've made with Bootstrap. And then we can see some actual websites that were made with Bootstrap. It also allows us to simplify common CSS and styles, which we won't get onto extensively, as we'll be using Bootstrap to do most of the CSS for us, so you don't need to worry about styling too much. So, basically this is how we import CSS into our project, which we'll do, and this is how we import JS into our project. Now, a thing to note is, we can do this via NPM, which I'm not going to do, or we can just copy this and slide it in. So let's press copy, so we go on documentation, getting started. We're going to copy the JS first. Now, we want to put this in header. Script tags usually go in the header or the underneath at the bottom of the body, so they're executed after this is rendered. So that's uh, HTML renders one tag at a time. It goes from body to h1 to p, and then the scripts are usually at the bottom like that. Or we can just paste it in here. Now there is a problem. This is HTML. We don't want HTML. Okay, so we go on pughtml.com. You can use any converter, um, and we're going to paste this in on the right here in HTML. We want to convert this. We're going to defer at the end. Defer loads it in order of the scripts. It's just a way of making the scripts load faster. It's quite complex, but it's a simple concept. So it loads one at a time, one after another. So the order is correct here. So we're going to save. We've pasted that in, adds commas. This is the syntax. It's like a CSS selector. This is an attribute. And the attributes are separated by commas. And it's pretty neat, I guess. When we refresh, what is going on? We've just added that. Okay, so now if we type dollar sign in console, we get a function. This is jQuery, which we'll use in the command section. You don't need to know too much about it for now, but it allows us. It's basically the document object model in JavaScript but simplified. So if we add CSS here, now the style is, you're going to notice the style changing, and that is what we want. So if we go back in header, and then, hold on, if we paste this in here, and then get that, paste this link tag in here. So I like to separate these. Link tags can go anywhere really, it doesn't matter the execution order it's not too important but now when we refresh the font changes 
yeah let's let's actually make it much better than it currently is so if we go to this prototype here we'll have an idea of what it should look like but we're gonna insert a navbar we're gonna start with the navbar now what is a navbar so the navbar if you press ctrl shift c this is the navbar it allows us to navigate between pages on the website okay so there is an extension here and it's called bootstrap snippets so bootstrap snippets okay um it's, it's this one bootstrap 4 font awesome 4 snippets is clicking on things <laughs> so navbar so let's go on navbar real quick this is what it looks like so which navbar do we want uh, we want one that looks we want a simple one pretty simple looks a bit like this and we're going to have a login thing here what is the navbar going to look like it's going to be an include why because it's going to be used in many different pages some pages m might not have a navbar in that is a possibility and also the navbar goes in the body which is important so navbar we're going to type navbar here so with navbar what we can do is is we can type um, navbar and it will get a snippet here <laughs> and it will somehow automatically convert this between PUG which I was not aware of but it just happened oh this is a PUG snippet or something um, we don't need this there so we can get rid of that we want a simple navbar template instead of just copy and pasting it in so what do we want here we want links on the right and left here so we're gonna copy this here the simple one and then paste that in here which is pughtml.com so that just nicely copies it there that's cool um so we paste that in i messed something up now we're gonna add commands here because that's the name of that will be a page eventually called commands and then we're also going to add let me zoom that in for you also gonna we don't need home because when we click on the logo it automatically goes to home which is an important distinction we don't need this either so another thing is we're just going to make a div in HTML, it's very confusing. It's going to be float right. And what that will do is, we'll test it real quick. Let's, let's put something here. Let's copy commands. Let's have two commands just to demonstrate what float right does. So, float right means it goes to the right of the screen. Float left means it goes to the left of the screen most of the time and float none, it doesn't float. There's a lot more to it than that, but that's a simplified explanation. We're gonna paste this in. Take a 50 hour course on that, but I'm not gonna have that for this course. There we go. So, navbar nav float right. What are we missing? If we type ML auto, that's the one. If we type ML auto here, not float right, that should push it to the left. So margin left automatic. But there we go. So we have navbar. What if you want the bot name? 1PG. Done. And we're going to have one more thing here, which is a jumbotron. We're going to add a jumbotron here. Uh, we're going to call this login actually because that makes more sense before we do that. So, what is this? Yay. No. <laughs> no. We're going to have P and not something. Let me remove something here because <laughs> that's not needed. Of course, we can have subtitle here. What if we want, really? 
So p dot lead. What is dot lead? If we go into jumbotron, we have p class lead. This might not make sense to you. So this is the syntax for a jumbotron. But this is what it looks like. So we have a jump dot jumbotron, which is a div with class jumbotron. And then inside that we have a h1 with display for, which makes the h1 bigger. So we'll show that in a minute. And then test. I'm just going to test here. Now if we refresh, it does that. Cool. If we add dot display dash four, I'll show that as well. Boom. That renames it. Let's open the demo again. So, what display is this? this? Is display three? Okay, and it has a. It covers the entire screen, and it has buttons as well. So, there are bootstrap buttons, and if we look at that again, we're going for a lot here. <laughs> we're going for a lot. So it has a dark one. It has a dark button, I believe. So we type btn button the tag name dot btn dot btn dark we're speed running it today and then we type add boom add so we can also type dot text center at the top here and that will center things in the middle and now we can type bg light and that will make the background light i guess that's fine for now we're going to add one last thing and this is the best bot in the known universe in the Milky Way. So let's add the best bot in the known universe. Like that. So cool. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll actually style this properly and also we'll add some cool icons like this.